the study, the REACT study done in recurrent patients is a very important first step, um, specifically for rindopepamid. The registration study, a randomized phase three uh, study, placebo-controlled double-blind in newly diagnosed glioblastoma patients has completed accrual and will be reporting outcome within six to 12 months. So this is a very important first step for rindopepamid, but the definitive study uh, to, to validate its activity and efficacy will have the results of that in the very near future. But more importantly, in the bigger picture, um, to provide proof of concept that immunotherapy can help brain cancer patients is a very important, important step. Uh, most of us were taught in medical school that the brain is immunoprivileged and therefore immunotherapy may not likely have as much of an impact for brain cancer patients. Uh, we now know from lots of research that that's not the case, that the relative privilege of the central nervous system um, is not, uh, uh, is not um, uh, definitive by any means, and there, there is a very dynamic interaction between the systemic immune system and that that's reactive in the brain. So immunotherapies can uh, integrate into the brain, can pass through the blood-brain barrier just fine, and can have a meaningful impact. Uh, and now we have proof of concept that a specific immunotherapy treatment can improve survival for this disease. So my hope, my vision for the next five years is that this is the first step and many more will, will come forward uh, looking at a variety of different uh, immunotherapy approaches, other vaccine strategies, uh, uh, adoptive T-cell approaches, and uh, very importantly on the uh, currently being evaluated, the immune checkpoint inhibitors.